Hello, I'm Jeremy Hickerson, the casual but serious guitarist. And today I'm going to show you how to memorize a classical guitar piece. The first rule of memorizing a piece, the only rule just about, is this. Keep your guitar in the case. Let me explain. This method is built on visualizing what you're doing as you play through the score that you're reading, the piece of music, without the guitar. You read the notes on the page, you picture yourself playing them on the guitar, you move your fingers, you hum the tune perhaps, and that's all you do. And you do that for about an hour for a short piece of music like the two I'm going to illustrate here, which are the two Manuel Ponce uh, Mexican folk songs. So for something like that, where you've got an A section that's repeated and a short B section, they're each about a page long. I did this last week uh, for an hour while I was watching TV, an hour for each piece, two different nights. And I visualized the piece as I was playing it. And then I got my guitar. This is what I did for the first piece, actually. For the second one, I, I'll explain that a little bit. I did that slightly differently. For the first piece, I spent the whole time, maybe 45 minutes, visualizing the piece, playing through it, and then putting away the music and seeing if I could still visualize that. If I couldn't, I'd look at the music again where I got stuck, and then I'd take it from there. I kept doing that until I could visualize playing through the whole thing without the music. Still had the guitar downstairs in the basement. At that point, I got the guitar and played it. And just immediately I was able to play it. I had been reading through this piece uh, several times the week before. And there's a video of me playing that piece in my uh, first introduction to the casual but serious guitarist, you can see me playing those pieces, reading from the music and kind of struggling because, you know, I'm looking at the music and moving around on the neck and sometimes I don't find the notes exactly. And at that point, I, I had to read it from the music. I, I couldn't play it without it. Okay, so here's the first one. The first uh, Mexican folk song. And let's see how I do. I, I played this through a couple practice sessions since I've had it memorized in this using this method. And let's see how it goes here. Okay, there's the first. 
first piece. Now, let, let me tell you about how I did the second piece, which is a, the second Mexican folk song in Manuel Ponce. I did that a little bit differently because that was a piece that I had memorized years ago, uh, almost 30 years ago. I used to be able to play that from memory. Uh, I'm familiar with both of these pieces, hearing them on records and stuff, so I'm not, you know, totally coming into these cold, and I had read them through several times in the past couple of weeks. But the one I had memorized previously, it was totally gone from my mind. Even uh, thinking about it, it's, it's going to be tough. I, I consider that the harder of these two pieces. And I thought, I got it, I got to memorize it again. So I started using my method without the guitar. But this time I had brought the guitar upstairs with me um, so I'd have it ready when I was ready to use it. So I had it there in the room with me watching TV again. And I think that's a good idea for this particular method because this is... Hard mental work, believe it or not. You get kind of tired doing it, and um, it's actually easier to just play through the piece over and over, but it'll take you longer to memorize it that way. So uh, here I am. I begin uh, with the guitar sitting there, but not playing it, and my, you know, just using my fingers in the air. I'm looking at the music and kind of reading through it on this second piece, and like I said, I had it memorized before, and it starts coming back to me. So I thought, oh man, you know, I could kind of like speed read through it without the guitar. This had never happened to me while I was reading through it with the guitar, you know. So I sort of like tapped into my memorization, which is from a long time ago. And all of a sudden I realized, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this one pretty quick. I don't have to, uh, I don't probably have to do the whole 45 minutes to an hour of visual, visualization in order to get it. And so what I did is I, I kind of, just sped through visualizing, realizing again, it's, a, it's an A section, A section, and a short B section, just like the last one. So if you got the A section, you just about have the piece, and you just got that short B section. So I sped through the A section, uh, visualizing it once, and then I tried to see if I could remember it without looking at the music, and I pretty much could, and I thought, you know, let me just try it with the guitar. So I picked up a, the guitar and I started playing it. And there was, you know, maybe halfway through the A section, I, I forgot something. So then I looked at the music for a minute. But I didn't play the music. I just looked at it and visualized it and then put it down. And so I was already at the stage um, with this second piece that a lot of you might be familiar with, where you, you can play it on the guitar and from time to time you forget, so you got to look at the music, which is, that's a pretty good stage to be at because you've almost got it then. So because I had it memorized before, I didn't quite have to go through the full length process. And so here, I'll play that one for you right now. We'll see how it goes. It's the harder of the two, I think. And I, I had some memory lapse, lapses during that last one. So let's see what happens with this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
me try that again. As you can see, I, I need to work on my technique, and I, I, on this piece, actually, I, I struggled more with getting my fingers in the right place on that part that I played again. I did remember what the notes were. So anyway, this is the visualization method for how to memorize a classical guitar piece. I suggest that you try it, and you won't be disappointed. The other thing that you gain from this um, that helps you also in, in remembering it is as you're visualizing and playing through, think about um, what's going on harmonically with the piece. Let me just put the guitar down and I'll tell you what I mean. So that first piece, uh, the, the last piece I just got done playing, I visualized, bah, bah, da, 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 da. so that's an A, the A is the bass note. I've got a uh, open E string, the C sharp, and then I go to the major seven, da, da, the G sharp, da, B, A, and then the open E string and the C sharp, so I'm still an A pretty much. I went ba ba na on the G sharp to the B, that's to the fifth, the A, the E7. Okay, da da na, then back to the A, the open E string, the A bass note. Da da na, da, I think it's just the uh, C sharp and the open E string, no A bass note. And then it repeats the figure um, on octave lower, G sharp, to B, to A, da da na, so that's sort of an E7 again. Da da na, da, to the E, da, da, na, E, C sharp, F sharp. So now, bomb, and then, bram, sort of a diminished, um, it's got the G in the bass note, the B flat, the C sharp, and then it walks down, the F sharp to the D, the E octave, and then I hit the F sharp again, the A sharp, so I've got a, sort of an F7, F sharp 7 going on. So that's the kind of thing that you can think about as you're visualizing this think about what's going on harmonically, it makes sense harmonically. You got a key of A going to the fifth dominant E7 at the opening, and then it walks down to the sixth chord, which is the F sharp minor. Ba, 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 da, na, ba, and then it goes to kind of a B minor suspended chord. So you've got, you know, a six to the two, one, six, two, um, from the A, you know. Anyway, it's harmonically it makes sense. This will help you remember it, and you, you can kind of see this stuff better when you're not actually playing it, too. That's the other benefit of the visualization technique. Thank you for listening. Please, if you like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm Jeremy Hickerson, the casual but serious guitarist.